This is Coach Patrick from Endurance Nation. Welcome to Ian Group's off-season video number three. In this case, I'm covering the schedule portion of your workout. This is where you're going to spend the majority of your time navigating the Google Doc. Uh, this has each week laid out for you. Uh, as you can see here at the top, it starts off with a note section that has content for each week, gives you specific directions. Um, below that, it has the layout for each week, which starts with the Monday day of that week and goes Monday through Sunday all the way across the top. So got all of your workouts laid out in there for you. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, that's horizontally. And then vertically, it has the swim, the bike, and the run. Uh, when you get down into it, the bike and the run are both divided into A group and then B group. A group athletes are tend to be fitter and stronger. There's a little bit more challenging set of workouts for you. B group folks, either you're just kind of building your fitness or you're coming in after an extended break. This is an opportunity for you to ramp up. You're by no means locked into a group since this is self-directed. You can start out with the B group and bump up to the A group or try an A group workout. And if it's too hard, drop down. In general, the workouts are relatively close, but the A group workouts are, like I said, just a little bit harder. In terms of the run, it actually works out to be that the A group does a little bit more running. In fact, they'll, they'll navigate up to five or six runs a week, whereas the B group athletes will uh, only do four, maybe five. So just kind of a sense for you in terms of where that's going. And again, you get to self-select. Uh, the last item here to cover is the other row. In this box, uh, for each day, if there's an admin task to be done, it will be here. So for Monday, there's a podcast that Rich and I will be creating. Um, in other cases, it'll be things like enter your weight into the data sheet or enter your functional threshold power from your workout. Whatever it may be, it's going to be noted here. So as you go through each week, be sure to check in. Some of you may be tempted to print this out and walk away. I would suggest that you check in each week because since Rich and I will be seeing your data and modifying it based on your feedback, there may be new information. So if you print out week 14, now in week one, by the time you get to week 14, things may have changed. You'll be able to take advantage of that because you're working off a hard copy. Make the most of the Google Doc and actually stay in here. Come in every week. Definitely check out the forum to see if there's been any notes about updates. But this will be navigating most of your time. Uh, the final note I want to make here, a couple things. One, swims are optional. We have a swim workout tab at the bottom I'll be talking about later. Um, but no, no sweat in the off-season on the swim workouts. Uh, the bike workouts are main set only. So this, this particular count is 3 by 5 minutes of work with 3 minutes of reach. That's 3 by 8 minutes total or 24 minutes. You can make that a 24-minute workout. You can make it a 45-minute workout or a 2-hour workout. From our perspective, we definitely want you to err on the side of being shorter. It is the off-season after all. We want you to do quality over quantity. Save the long workouts when the weather turns nice. Um, I do recommend, however, that you do get in a nice warm-up before you start going with the hard work. Um, the cool-down and stretching can happen on your own. And the run workouts, for the most part, are main set as well. The only change, you know, the 30-minute run here on Tuesday listed for you, you can run 30 minutes. If you run 35, eh, it's not going to kill you. The only key thing that I want you to pay attention to is that you go run at the end of each week. In this case, the first week has a five-mile run at long run pace. That needs to be done just five miles. That doesn't mean do five miles at long run pace, but run eight miles total. So the long runs, stick with what's written. The other runs you can definitely add uh, to as you get going. And you obviously will need to warm up and warm down. Okay? That's the end of video number three, review of the weekly tab. Stay tuned for video number four.